It's his first interview since he officially became the front runner in the race for who will be president of Nigeria in 2023. In the second part of my conversation with Peter Gregory Obi. <laughs> the structures that you have today yeah. is a structure of criminality that I want to do. We should all collectively dismantle. He contends with what some could not even have imagined a year ago that anybody would call him the front runner. Everybody is taking it seriously because the Anna Foundation and the NY polls have correctly predicted every president since 2011. This election must be based on character we can trust, competence, capacity, commitment to start doing the right thing. Now, when you see this interview, it will be one week after campaigns officially start. But today, I'm hosting the interview just 24 hours after that report, that poll has been released. We need to start building a country. These people have wasted everybody's time. Mm. They cannot continue. Peter will be truly like you've never seen, heard, or felt him before. There's no other way to start this interview but to say this is essentially your first interview since you officially became the front runner <laughs> in this race. You know, shocked across the entire political spectrum over the past two days because the NOI polls commissioned by ANAP say that if the election held today, you are going to get the majority of the votes. How did you receive that and how do you respond to that? Well, for me, really, you know, first is to thank those who conducted the poll and appreciated what they're doing. But as you know, this is not about issue of mm. polls. Mm. My involvement is that I'm appealing to Nigerians that we have no other country except this one. Mm. So let's come together mm -hmm. and take back our country and run it the way every other country that is doing well or that is developing is being run. Mm. And that is by ensure that we are united as a nation mm -hmm. because we have different sections, ethnicities, mm. that we are united. That we deal with issues that are confronting us, mm. security, mm -hmm. issues of law and order, mm -hmm. unemployment, mm. all the various problems that is existing now today. I do understand that, you know, and even from the first conversation we had, there's that discipline on this is the reason why we are doing this, not all this noise. But surely it must have been gratifying after months of being dismissed as there's no structure, it is just social media, he cannot win beyond a number, they will labor till they die. For there to be this kind of validation that at least says that the past few months have not been a waste. Yeah, of course. It is gratifying and everything is encouraging. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but then, the most important thing is that we want to continue until we get to the end. Mm -hmm. We were sure that we will start building a new Nigeria. Mm -hmm. A new Nigeria that will be based on justice, fairness, mm -hmm. and that our youths who are yearning mm -hmm. today for support, mm -hmm that will unleash their energy and talent to the world. Right. Your famous meeting with President Obasanjo and Wiki before your trips in London. What's happening there? Well, is Obasanjo going to endorse you? Is Wiki coming to join you? What is happening? Quite frankly, it's not just Obasanjo and Wiki. I'm meeting, I'm meeting everybody, mm. you know? Mm. And I'm calling everybody to come. Let's have a country. Mm. Let's all contribute in building this country called Nigeria. Mm -hmm. First is to take it back, mm -hmm. ensure that it is run properly and everything mm -hmm. where there's justice, where there's fairness, where there's commitment and everything. Right. So I meet with everybody. Yeah. But you would welcome the endorsement, obviously. Oh, oh, oh no, hugely. You know, I would be very, of course, uh, 
Obo Sanjo has always been what I call father of the nation mm. in terms of his commitment. There are quite a number of them who are fathers of the nation, mm. and I give them respect because at one time or the other, they did their best for the state. Mm. Kim Saf, Bangida, Buslam, mm. every one of them, right. they've done their best, and they have to be respected, go on, and all that. Mm. And all that. Right. The last time we spoke, you had mentioned that there was no need to attack other candidates. That's not your style, etc. But then there was a viral video of you talking supposedly about Ashiwaju for that in Ovo. Quite frankly, um, it's something people do out of context. Okay. I was just trying to explain to people mm. the type of messages people send. Mm. Why would people be sending a message that if I become president, mm. uh, nobody will invest in Lagos again, mm. I'll close the ports of Lagos mm. and everything. Mm. Everybody knows that Lagos, today as it is, the ports are congested, so we have need to develop new ports, mm. new areas, we need to expand the business. Lagos is still a financial center. People have abandoned their properties in Apapa mm. because it's become a mess. Mm. So Apapa now used to be a reference place mm. of living. People have abandoned it. So you need to open up all those things and open them up is trying to decongest the port by having open up new ports and everything and all that and all that. Mm. And people were saying it. And so I was trying to explain it to, mm. to some, you know, just a group of about five, six people. Mm. I said, look at this and everything. And they took it out of the And I said, oh, I wasn't in any way trying to, of course, they are, they are, how do I say it? These are my respected elder brothers. And I respect them. Who to know who is your respected elder brother? Of course, he's another brother of mine. Mm. You know, I respect him for who he is. And mm. they have, even in various times in their life, contributed in their own way in Nigeria, everybody has contributed one way or the other mm. in the past, and they have to be respected and recognized in due time. You know, but I'm just trying to explain that, yes, because they've contributed in the past and everything, doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, well, they have to stay forever and forever. No, 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 no. Mm. You know, people must, we must have a situation where people have done their bit and everything, they have to recognize for it, and then they move on and, and then things move on. Right. It's like Brazil is today. Mm -hmm. They recognize that Pele was sometime a star, mm -hmm. a fantastic footballer. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to field him in today's match because, of course, he knows that you know, things yes, have to move on. So the supporters are going to disagree with you on that. They're going to say, and I've asked you this before, that they're going yes. to say this conciliatory tone doesn't work. As far as they are concerned, these are the guys that ruined the country. No, my supporters will understand. No, no, they, they will agree with me. They know, you know, because they, for me, mm -hmm. they remain my respected elder brothers. Right. I was brought up to respect my seniors, <laughs> especially when my seniors have one way or the other mm -hmm. contributed. They have done their own bit. Their bit might not be the best, mm -hmm. but you have to recognize it mm -hmm. and say, well, there was a time these people helped mm. to keep the whole thing going. Mm -hmm. You don't go and say, okay, 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 let's throw them away. Let's do this. The only thing I'm saying is that where we are today, mm. it requires somebody with the character we can trust, mm. competence, capacity, commitment. Mm. It, this is a job that requires physical and mental energy mm. because the country is in a mess. And you need to deal with it. So it's not something you can say, okay, well, listen, we have to consider this man because maybe because of what he did in the past or because, okay, he just said, uh, it's not a state to manage people. It's not, it's not a, we are not in a situation where we have to step out hmm. in a manner and with the most qualified candidate to start decisively mm. dealing with this issue. It's a 24 hour job. Mm. It's not something you can do now where people can say, okay, you have to rest. No, 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 there's no right. 24 hours. Why did you think that rather than say supporting or funding somebody into politics, why did you decide to throw the, your heart in the ring yourself? I believe that leadership is God's grace and you can't do God's grace. Mm. You must have the people. So since I'm convinced about myself, right. I decided let me go get involved and right. solve it. Right. Just like I've gone around now, telling our people overseas, telling them locally, hold me accountable and responsible. 
if I have the opportunity, what we are going to do in 2023 is look at the people's records and say, let's check whether they can be trusted. Mm. All of us are going to come out with fantastic manifestos, well-written manifestos, something that is out of this world. Mm -hmm. But the question is, who do we trust? Mm. That whatever is saying or written, mm. he can even attempt to do it. Right. I cannot be a president and allow our schools to be shut down for months. I will be the chief negotiator. Mm. I'm not saying it won't happen, no. But we will be Nigerians will know day to day mm. what is happening. And we will make it work. Right. And like I said, I'm going to move this country from consumption to production. That is the slogan of your campaign, isn't it? Yeah, not the slogan. <laughs> that is where we should be. Mm. Essentially, you are challenging anybody to look at your record. You are confident that your record in business, in government, there are absolutely no skeletons in that cupboard. Judy, I say it again. I am not a saint. That's why I said it. We received almost half a trillion mm. in my eight years of being a governor. If you see 1%, just more, say, say I'm assuming that maybe... No, no, maybe 1% is missing. Maybe 1% was mismanaged. So if you see more than that, that's it. I was mentioned in Pandora papers. Remember? Yes. And I, 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 I challenged everybody say, go, let me show you that particular investment, mm -hmm. which was an investment that I had to put my own little resources when I was leaving UK to come and be governor. If you go there and find any new investment mm. while I was governor, take it. But you cannot say to me, today all you have because you want to be governor. No, there's no law that says that. Mm. What I have, I kept quietly in a trust fund for my family mm. because, you know, I cannot throw them away. Mm. That's it. Judy, there's no other way I can describe it. Mm. I left 150 something million dollars. Nobody asked me to leave it. Mm. It was in the account in three banks in Nigeria here. Mm. Assets Bank, Fidelity Bank, Diamond Bank. I left 30 something billion naira in the same three banks. Mm. If I the money I left is over 40 billion. You can go and see it. It's there. And nobody. And I challenge to show me other people who left 5% five, five of that. So if I leave it, when I have the capacity to take it, what else do I have to do? Do I have to bring God to know that, oh, this man couldn't have. When I had, when I had the ability to convert it into anything and take it away, mm -hmm. what else do I need to do? Right. Go to an Anambra state and show me one piece of land by government where it will be signed that was given to P2B directly or indirectly. Mm. One piece of land. Where I built my house in Onitsha today, I bought it from the Obiaska's family. Go and ask Obiaska. He will tell you. Mm. I bought it from them. So you think that trust is the number one factor for anybody going to vote in this election? No. Who do you trust to manage the resources of the country effectively? That's number one. That's number one. I don't want anybody to vote for me because I'm from the Southeast or because I'm an Igbo man, mm. or because it's Igbo town. No, no, no. Mm. Yes, there might be a consideration, but there shouldn't be primary thing. Right. I don't want anybody to vote for me because I'm a Christian. No, it shouldn't be. I'm not trying to be a priest. I'm not trying to be a pastor. I'm not trying to be a bishop. Let nobody vote for me because it's my turn. It is not my father's business. Nigeria is nobody's business. It's nobody's, even, even in your base, family business, to run it more efficiently, you need to give it to somebody who has the capacity. Mm -hmm. Let nobody vote for me for connection or because I can share anything. There's nothing to share again in Nigeria. It's finished. This election must be based on character we can trust. Mm -hmm. Competence, capacity, commitment to start doing the right thing. And let everybody come, not through prosy, not through spokesperson, and tell us what you can do with your mouth. Not written, you know. Tell us so we can document it. Mm. 
so that tomorrow, once you get into office, I urge Nigeria, this time we're not going to leave anything for schools. We now want a driver that will drive this vehicle called Nigeria to destination we all agreed. When I went to Anambra, I told them, don't remind me about the man who was here. Even when I brought our school to number one, they want to write speech. They say, uh, in 2001, schools were closed. Now I say, don't write it for me. Just tell me how we can continue to prove it. Those who think about yesterday and today will miss tomorrow. I don't want to go to yesterday. Mm. So I don't want to be president who will say, hey, yeah, when they say, you're not doing it well, say, this people spoiled it. No, 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 no. I'm being hired because it was not well. If everything was well, you won't be hired. Mm. If I get a job, I assure you, I will do the right thing. Right. But this, of course, we just start because you talk about the future a lot, and I'm focusing on where we are going. There are people who believe that one of the best ways of rejuvenating the economy is to prosecute people who have stolen government money, recover those monies like has been done with Abacha and ETC. What is your stand on that? Is that something you are going to do? If you say you don't want to look at the past, then what happens to all these monies okay, the that money, you know have been stolen? The money they have recovered from Abacha, how did it help the economy? That's why people want to vote you in, so you can do As better a, things with those money. You can't close your shop and start chasing thief. <laughs> By the time you come back, you've lost customers, goods have expired. Mm -hmm. So you're dealing with a bigger problem. Mm -hmm. You can fit things that will make you to ensure that you reduce the criminality, mm -hmm. which I said on issue of corruption. Mm -hmm. When you are not stealing, Remember, say every day, say that your family is not stealing. Those around you are not stealing. You reduce it by 70%. Because you are going to approve what people will steal. In course of doing this, if we have an empirical evidence that somebody has done the wrong thing, mm -hmm. and we investigate it, not noise making, mm -hmm. not blackmail, I will never allow one person, one person, mm -hmm. to be blackmailed, humiliated, or punished for any wrongdoing that you did not do. Mm. I will, if I find out, I will, if it's, if it's possible, I'm begging the person, if you can give it to us back, so we can move forward, because all the other ones will waste everybody's time. So I will, I'm not saying, oh, I will not care about it, no, but I will not concentrate on it, mm. because let me tell you, what are we going to use to? Okay, let me give you an example. Okay. I read where they said they are going to return a bachelor's $30 million. I'm sure you saw it. Thank you. But I read also that the accountant general had taken 100 and uh, is it 100 billion? 100 and something. Billion. Exactly. Let's say 100. Over 100. Let's say 100. Over 100. 100, if we use the official rate of 40, it's taking 250. <laughs> million mm -hmm. and we're looking for 30. So why not? That's what I said. You can't close your shop because you'll be looking at yesterday, mm -hmm. you'll miss today. Yeah. Those who look at yesterday and today will miss tomorrow. Right. right. Let's focus on tomorrow. Right. Right. If we focus on tomorrow, we'll get it right. Right. I want to be the angel's advocate or devil's advocate, choose, depending on who is watching. The argument would be like the, the case for voting for Bola Tinobo, yeah, as opposed to you, is that he was the governor of a sophisticated state like Lagos. And for eight years, he seemed to have built institutions, LASMA, LOMA, all these other things. What's your response to someone that says, we'd rather trust this person who has managed a complex economy like Lagos and maintained political sagacity <laughs> over eight years as opposed to you? What's your answer to such a person? Well, if you check the Lagos... And then internally generated revenue increase, Independence from oil revenues, from the federal government, all of those, yes. If you check Lagos, mm -hmm. even in the military era, mm -hmm. no governor in Lagos that didn't do well. Mm -hmm. Go and check most of the governors that were doing, not doing well in other places like where Rasaki was in Ogun State, when Dubisi Khan was in Nemo State. Once they come to Lagos, Lagos, it's been, you know, everybody that passed through Lagos did well. Mm -hmm. I don't want to compare us. Go and check critical measurable tools of development right. is human development index. Mm. 
That's what you used to do. Mm. Yes. He managed a bigger, in quote, mm -hmm. better state, mm -hmm. more financially viable state, mm -hmm. and managed poorer state that doesn't have the capacity, financial capacity. But I was able in eight years not to borrow one naira. Mm -hmm. I didn't borrow one naira. Mm -hmm. In that poor place, met up the little obligations that I could. I was given an award as a stay with the best road connection. The way Lagos is, is after Lagos in size, San Ambrose. I was awarded most prudent governor. Remember what I said? Yeah. He's my senior brother. Yes. He's done well. He's tried his best and everything. And I respect him for that. Right. Okay, so but in this particular essence, where we're hiring a new manager, will you hire him right. or me? Right. The second case is for my former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. He has claimed he was the one in charge of key sectors of the economy under Obasanjo. He identified stars, you know, um, Erufai, Mansel Mokhtar, ETC, that created an economic unit that drove the country forward, pared down our debt, increased foreign direct investment. He also is such a master identifier of talent that in 2019, he discovered an ex-governor in Anambra State called Peter Obi <laughs> and made him his vice president. Why would you stack up? Why should we choose you instead of such a strategic thinker? I agree with that. And he always said he's my senior brother and my leader. Mm -hmm. And I maintain that. Mm -hmm. And he will remain so as long as I live. Right. He remains a respected senior brother who is my leader, who identifies stars. And whatever I said about him is correct. He's a man who can do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember what I told you mm -hmm. when I talked about Aswaju? Yes. I said, these are people who have done their best. But we're saying, can you go and bring Pele and put him in today's league? Brazil is still there. You know, we no longer feel the kind of one cause. Yeah. The JJs. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. We are the, no, no. We are not feeling the younger ones. Because you do your bit. There's a time you come because the, the match now requires physical energy, mm -hmm. talent, everything. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Now let's look at this and say, who is the most competent in these people? Mm -hmm. These are leaders of respect. Right, right. I know you've mentioned that, you know, everybody has beautiful manifestos, but who do you trust? But for a candidate like yourself, who is, you know, who is a thinker, who has had this track record, shouldn't you have had your manifesto by now? Shouldn't we have seen it by now? No, I agree with you. Right. Let me tell you. You know, I started with a different party. Mm. By the time I changed, it was just about two months. Mm. These things are not things you pick up yourself. And we have labor and TUC and all this. Yes. They also have their charters of demand. Mm. And we need to incorporate it and find out that. Because it's like all these people who are living in Nigeria today to go and live in Canada. You don't go there and start saying, oh, let me uh, bought car today. Let me start driving like they drive in Lagos, mm. overtake everybody, do one way. You know, it's a, it's a learning process. Mm. So for me, labor has done a few things. Mm. They've just finished a retreat. Mm. They're going to give us what they call their charter of the mind. And all these things we have to sit down with mm -hmm. them so that when we come out, we're coming out of the family because we're now working together. So is there and a timeline? I'll show you that all those things will come out. Before? Well, I can't give you a time, but it will come out. But remember what I said. Mm -hmm. No matter how gloss it is, no matter how good it is, it is me or those who are involved my team that you will believe. Right. But remember, I interviewed people. Mm -hmm as bank chairman. Mm. And I've seen CVs that if you read it, you run away. And I said to them, I don't care about CV. Let mm. me see who this person is. Yeah. And I talked to the person and I said, employ this person. Right. And in the, in the end, I wasn't wrong. Mm. So you have I've, I've had then somebody I interviewed. is a star in the bank. He was telling me what he's going to do, his deliverables and profit and everything. 
When I finish, somebody said to me, oh, look at, he can't even speak good English. I said, listen, I will hire an English teacher. This man is telling you what he will deliver, and you're talking and harassing. You know, it's something that happens now, what we're doing. How people who can speak Queen's English, impeccable English. Oh, they went to the best of schools. Mm. And I said to he said, oh, this man has a, the other one has first class. This one doesn't have the, I said, listen, please, educational qualification is not a measure of integrity. Mm. And we're not hiring an English teacher. We want somebody that will deliver the results. Should even show you the results of that man. It was fantastic. I said, whatever language uses to deliver that result, that's what we want. Mm. What we want in Nigeria today is somebody of integrity. The spokesperson to Ashiwaju released a statement in response to the ANAP NOI poll. He said you were lying, that you've lied before, and he said I, his IPOB supporters. And this is something that they've repeated over and over again. They've tried to link you to IPOB. They've said that your supporters respect the sit-at-home orders. They've just tried to link you to this organization that is trying to leave Nigeria. What is your response to the accusation that you are sympathetic? to IPOP? Well, let me first, I don't respond to comments by spokesperson. Right. I don't respond to third party comments. Right. I'm a presidential candidate. Right. I can only respond to the comments of presidential candidates. Right. If it's the presidential candidate that made the comment, I'll reply Fair enough. adequately. Fair enough. Let me now frame it as my question. Thank you. Let me frame it Thank as my question. question. Thank you because you Yes. What do you say to people who think that you support the sentiments of IPOP? Well, let me tell you what I've said about agitators all over. Mm -hmm. There's agitation in the southwest, mm -hmm. southeast, mm -hmm. in the north, criminality, everything. Mm -hmm. And I've said, I will dialogue, consult, discuss with all agitators. Mm -hmm. Should we have agitators in our house? My wife at times that agree with me. Mm -hmm. My children don't. Yeah. What you need with them is dialogue, consult, discuss. Mm -hmm. You don't just say, oh, well, um, I don't care what you're saying. No, 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 no. We should be in a democracy. Dialogue, negotiation, all these are important. This is an aside. You mentioned this about agitation. You mentioned your wife. She has become something of a star on social media, even without really engaging fully. You know, people are always putting up her pictures, you know, finding hidden statements she's made. Have you been surprised? No, she's not made all those statements. <laughs> she, my wife is somebody that is totally on her own. Yeah. She's just what, what I can call a good wife mm. who stays in there and looks after the family, mm. you know. But she's not involved in this. Right. And, we, and at times I tell people, our life are even parallel. Mm. You know, she's mm. somebody that would like to live, enjoy her little life and everything. But that's not going to be possible when she you will, be, if you become president. She will, no, 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 because she will, she will even tell me when, I, when she's busy, you know, maybe eating and everything. And I come in and say, he said, please, Mr. Peter, keep your GDP outside so I can have this my, <laughs> my food and wine. This is not China. I don't want you to start comparing and that this and everything is very expensive. Or this. I want to just, everything about your GDP should be outside. This one is my money. I want to enjoy it. So, right. um, for me, that's it. Right. You know? okay. right. When anybody wants to talk about it, be, where is the structure? Now, you answered me the last time and said the people are the structure. But I want to push back and say, by now... Whatever you say, uh -huh. I will say the same thing. <laughs> the structures that you have today yeah. is the structure that brought us here. Mm -hmm. The structure that has not been able to increase our electricity generation mm -hmm. beyond 5,000. Mm -hmm. The structure that created... the country with the highest number of people living in poverty, the structure that created the highest infant mortality, the structure that created the highest youth unemployment, is a structure of criminality that I want to, we should all collectively dismantle. Mm. Right. My brother, we need to start building a country. These people have wasted everybody's time. Mm. They cannot continue. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>